get it? The rock? Yeah, we got it. All right, everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. This is FanWagon. And when you guys see me on the screen, you guys should know that I'm bringing you guys another crazy Hot Toys review. So the figure that I'm going to be bringing you guys today is the Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, Nightmare Batman, Toy Fair exclusive. That's right, guys. I did say exclusive. These things are limited. I'm not sure of the quantity of that. If anybody knows, please leave it down in the comments. Now, while you guys are getting ready to leave that comment, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button before we get this review going. So, let's go ahead, dive into the box, get this on the way. Let's go. Well, all right, man, let's get this review going with this beautiful box. Pretty standard Dawn of Justice style, similar to the Superman one and the Armored Batman one. You have brown on the outside, followed by that beautiful picture of Gotham City in the middle. Then you also have the Frank Miller style Batman symbol with pictures of Ben Affleck in the middle from the movie as well as the very first picture that we got shared of the Nightmare Batman. You also have a picture of uh, Batman being held down by the Superman soldiers, him going ahead and checking out the city, and him walking. So on the inside of this you guys do have a inlay cover of the figure itself. Nice shot of uh, Ben Affleck screaming. Really cool, really cool. On the back, you do have your various warnings. Don't choke on this. As well as a cast and crew on the inside inlay. Probably most importantly, you also have the Hot Toys exclusive sticker up top that lets you guys know that it is an exclusive. So let's go ahead and get Ben out here and check him out. Well, here he is, man, the Nightmare Batman, beautiful figure from Hot Toys. Just wanted to give you guys kind of a quick overlook of the figure. Check out some of the details on the costume. So let me go ahead and zoom in here. Beautiful head sculpt on this. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty happy with it. Nice leather jacket. You got the binoculars. You got the freaking machine gun with the Joker card have a nice wired trench coat and then you guys got that standard Dawn of Justice stand similar to the Superman one. So I just wanted to give you guys a real quick preview of that before we got into some of the accessories that Batman comes with as well as some other things like articulation. So let's go ahead and get into the accessories. Let's go ahead and start off with probably my favorite and it is the freaking machine gun with the Joker card on it with an active clip like Hot Toys is known for. You got that little uh, bullet in there as well as the articulated scope in the front and a very nice leather feeling strap but this thing is really cool glad that they included the little joker card on that in the movie next is another pistol that he comes with just his little hand cannon little deal little nine millimeter really nice detail on that paint apps are great uh, nothing is movable on this i'm not sure if the clip comes out yet the clip does Let's go ahead and get that out for you guys Just like the other one, bullets up in the top, which is really cool, but no uh, slide action on that. Here's another thing that he comes with. His binoculars that we see him checking out over the uh, desert in. And yes, they do have the cracked lens in front. And again, just like the gun, they do come with a very nice leather strap. Really, really good detail on that. Nice black, it looks really weathered. Looks good, I like him. He also comes with his various hands. Comes with five right hands, two left hands. Wish that they would have included more left hands. But, you know, it is what it is. Very nice detail on these. You do have the, you know, the nice worn back gloves with the, with the uh, you know, nice golden knuckles. It's got two gun holding hands, a pair of relaxed hands, and a pair of fists. Another accessory that he comes with is another separate scarf for his neck. This one's uh, articulated, wired up top here, as you guys can see. 
and that just ties around him so all right guys one accessory that i did forget to mention is that he does come with his goggles really nice effect of uh you know like dirty lenses on these like sand really really good very fragile so do be very careful with them and they do fit on his head really nice so let's go ahead and get into the head sculpt all right guys so here we are with the ben affleck head sculpt this thing is freaking beautiful i love it it does come with uh interchangeable face plates and uh with the original version that comes out the non-nightmare one you will get extra eyes that will be able to be used in this as well as those mouth plates very very good detailing on this not sure how good the camera can pick it up but the uh, the freaking stubble on this is amazing looks just like Ben Affleck um, you know I'm gonna go ahead and change out some of these face plates show you guys how you do that you come with this tool here if you tilt this right under see if I can get that for you guys see that little clear part all you do simply take that press that up there boom comes right out one thing that I do like is that this is kind of a softer material it's not like hard plastic it's like a rubber so it's very pliable and that's like the whole thing of this so I'm gonna go ahead and get each of the Face plates in real quick and just give you guys some quick shots. Alright, so here he is with kind of that open mouth look. Like I said, man, there, you know, I've seen a lot of uh, good head sculpts that Hot Toys have done. This is probably one of my favorites. It is, uh, you know, you can just by looking at the chin itself, you can tell that it is Ben Affleck. So let's go ahead and get into another one. Well, here we go with the kind of screaming faceplate that he comes with. Still really resembles Ben Affleck. I think a lot of people will use this one just because it kind of really gives a lot of, uh, you know, uh, expression to the figure. You know, it, it differs it a lot from all of the other Batman figures. Let's go ahead and get into that last one. And here's the final one that you guys have already seen. Just kind of that basic mouth shut staring kind of look still very very resembles um, you know Ben Affleck and his whole Batman really intimidating so uh, let's go ahead and get into some details on the outfit and then jump in our so I wanted to get into some of the details on this figure under this brown leather coat that is articulated down at the bottom this is on a wire so it's very, very pliable. You kind of can bend it, have it, have that wind look. Do have the traditional, well, I shouldn't say traditional, but the brand new bat suit. Uh, very, very cool looking. Uh, it, it, you can actually take off this coat. I'm not going to do that for this review. But you can take it off, and then you can get a, a kind of a idea on what the Batman, the regular Batman version, will look like with just a suit. It is kind of a rubbery kind of deal. These muscles are kind of built into the suit. So that is not part of the of the figure itself. It's part of the suit. You do have, like I said, you have his brown coat. I, I believe in the film the, the coat is a little bit darker. It is wired. It's very, very nice, nice texture, leather feeling. His collar is very uh, movable if that's what you want. You can leave it down however you want this this figure allows you to have a lot of different looks to it you have the traditional Batman gauntlets as you can see here with the bronze or gold tips then you also have the green tape that really weathered makes this figure look awesome I love that you know they did something different with that leading down into the traditional bat belt this is removable I have not removed it, probably won't. Very nice, nice weathering on it, you know, nice gold paint. These kind of feel flimsy at first, but they're not gonna pop off. So, you know, just make sure you guys read your instruction manual to go through, see what is removable, what isn't, what you can move, what you can't move. 
So that leads down into his gun holster for his pistol. Pretty sure that's removable. Nice detailing on that. Nice weathered look. It's one thing that I love about this is that he looks really weathered, you know, and that's something that we get from Batman in this film is that he is older. He's He's been in the game a while, so we expect his stuff to be uh, pretty weathered. Then you go down to his pants, kind of like a green cargo pant look leading into his knee pads which are glued onto that. Nice weathering onto those, really nice. They're nice and movable which is always good. Then you go down into the traditional shin bat boot kind of deal. One thing that I really liked about Zack Snyder's take on Batman is that his equipment that he uses, his armor and whatnot, the, the leather looks like bat skin and that's that's one thing that I think is really cool. You also get that kind of gold brass chipping up on the up on the toes, kind of like steel toe boots. Really cool, nice and weathered. So that is pretty much it for the details on this figure. Just make sure you guys do read your instruction manuals so you guys don't end up ripping any of the clothing or taking off something that you guys should. So let's go ahead and dive into what? some articulation. All right guys, so as for articulation in this figure, you got really good articulation in the arms, not so much in the waist. You actually surprisingly have very good articulation in the helmet, sorry, head, I should say, and then not the best articulation when it comes to the legs. But I heard that there's something that you can do to kind of fix that. So let's go ahead, show you guys how arm far his arms go up and go about 90 degrees and the good thing about his arms is that his shoulders and um, elbow joints are on ratchets which is very nice nice and you know feels strong take off his hand so that's about what you're going to get for bending like I said for articulation in the waist very limited is a little bit there but very very limited as for the head you can't get them to look up good amount as well as down a good amount well as right and left so very surprisingly I'll show you guys what that's how they kind of put that head on it's different than what we're normally used to seeing as for legs you can get them out about that and those are on ratchets as well. Now as for up, that's where there's kind of that problem and I'm not sure if it's the pants that hinder it or what it is, but can't really get his leg up that much. And as for bending, you know, you got really good articulation there. So let me go ahead and show you guys how they kind of did this new head sculpt thing. So here we are with uh, Batman with his head off. As you guys can see, it's not your traditional ball joint. Go ahead and zoom in on that. Something that I have not seen before. Might have used it on other figures. I'm not 100% sure. But <clears throat> how you kind of connect this in is it's, it's hard, but it's not hard. You do have really good motion on it, as you guys can see. It is kind of on that ball joint. But it allows you to have this kind of more, you know, defined mask look, where it's not just a head on a magnet, something a little different. I'm glad that they kind of went with it because it really does. I gotta move the coat, get it in there. You guys get to see me struggle with this. There we go. Nice and snug on there. Looking good as always. All right guys, let me go ahead and get into the stand real quick and I'll give you guys some poses. So just like the Superman figure, you get the whole Dawn of Justice set piece uh, for the stand with the articulated. Thing. Oh, you can't get the thing out. It is a stand, you can get the stand out. It's kind of hard to get your figure to have its legs where you want it, but you got that bat emblem with the Superman logo on the inside and that is articulated like I said goes up and down not sure if you guys can see because the lights might be a little bit too bright but on the here let me see if I can get that in on the bottom 
says Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, Nightmare Batman. And then a little bit different from what we're seeing, you're getting kind of this, uh, I don't want to say it's rubber because it kind of feels harder than rubber, but it's not plastic either, kind of pull. And then you have a crotch grab. You do not have the uh, waist grab that we're so used to seeing. I wish Superman would come with one of these and might make me actually want to pick them up. But that is your stand that comes with all of your Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice hot toys. Let's go ahead and get into some poses for you guys. Give you guys a different kind of couple of options on how you guys might want to pose it in your cap. Here's kind of a cool pose of Batman with the extra scarf and his binoculars. As you can see, you got the straps around his neck, the relaxed palms. Kind of leading down as you can see I also wired the cape up a little bit to make it look like there was some wind blowing. Pretty cool looking. Nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and get into another one. Alright guys, so this is kind of that uh, come at me bro kind of style. Gonna utilize that angry face that he comes with. Have his arms kind of out, stepping forward, kind of aggressive, have the, the trench coat kind of blow back, looks really cool. Let's go ahead and get one more and I'll give you my thoughts on the figure. Alright and for our final pose, just kind of got him standing with his rifle, see that joker card right there out on it got the gun in his right hand and then in his left hand he's kind of got his binoculars kind of rested up up against him just kind of looking out pretty cool pretty pretty cool utilizing that base plate looking good looking good all right guys thank you guys for tuning in as always man be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Hit that thumbs up as well as that subscribe button. It means a lot. Leave a comment. Let us know what you guys think. Let us know what you guys liked about this review, what you guys didn't like about this review, and let us know what you would like us to review in the future. We're going to have the Armored Batman coming ASAP. It's in the mail as we speak, so that video will be up the day it gets in, guys. I'll have that to you guys. Get ready for that. And as always, be sure to go and check out all of our previous videos. Stay tuned for further videos. All right, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time.